simplify the square root of 7 over 2 minus the square root of 7. We know that we want to rationalize the denominator. That means to get rid of the radical sign uh, uh, in the denominator. Now, if this were just the square root of 7 in the denominator, we would multiply both the numerator and the denominator by, the, by itself, by the square root of 7. And that has nothing to do with the numerator. That's just, we would just be looking at the denominator. But here, here we've got this 2. So if we uh, uh, multiply this by the square root of 7, we would still have 2 times the square root, root of 7 in the denominator. So we need to do something uh, with something called the conjugates. So a conjugate is simply written just like what we see here when you've got uh, a rational component and an irrational component, that is uh, something without a radical and something with a radical. And you write it just like it, but you just change the sign. So the conjugate of 2 minus the square root of 7 is 2 plus the square root of 7. So we'll multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the square root of 7. So we're in that habit of when we're manipulating things or simplifying, sometimes we have to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same thing. Of course, we can't just multiply just the top or just the bottom. Now, the reason this will work, this will get rid of the radical, is this product of a sum and a difference, and we'll get a, um, a difference of squares as a result. So it's uh, tied in with that special products idea. But let's, let's first deal with the top, the numerator. So we're going to multiply that square root of 7 through, and we have then 2 square roots of 7 plus the square root of 7 times the square root of 7, that leaves just 7. And it's okay to have a radical in the numerator. Now, I know you might be thinking, why does it, not, why does it matter in the, uh, in the denominator and not in the numerator? Well, that's just the standard. That's, that's the way we do it. And, uh, and so we'll live by those rules. Now, when we multiply the denominator, we have 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times the square root of 7 is 2 square roots of 7. And negative square root of 7 times 2 is negative 2 square roots of 7. And negative square root of 7 times positive square root of 7 gives us negative 7. Okay, I wrote that in red because I know I'm going to be simplifying that more. So this is what I'm talking about. This is going to cancel out right here. This positive 2 square roots of 7 and negative 2 square roots of 7. So we'll have at the... At the um, at the end, 4 minus 7, so that's negative 3. So we're going to write 2 square roots of 7 plus 7 all over negative 3. Now certainly, uh, when, when we get to this step on any uh, fraction or, or a rational expression or anything, we want to see if we can cancel anything out. We can't in this case. I don't like writing the negative sign in the denominator, so I'm just going to move it right in the middle, either in the middle or in the top. I'm going to put it right in the middle, 2 square roots of 7 plus 7 all over 3. And that will be our final answer. By the way, if you wanted to move it up to the numerator, you would have negative 2 square roots of 7 minus 7 because you would have to um, distribute that negative sign throughout the numerator. Okay, that is using conjugates.